I'm going to talk a little bit about linear equations of the form of y equals mx plus c. Now that in itself looks pretty daunting, but hopefully after this demonstration it shouldn't be too bad. If we consider the word linear and cut up the letters at the end, we've actually got the word line. And that's actually what we'll be doing later on. We'll be plotting some straight line graphs using our linear equation of y equals mx plus c. So let's look at an example. Let's consider y is equal to 2x plus 4, where m is my 2 and c is my 4. Now I'm not expected to solve this equation because I have two unknown values. I have a y and an x. But indeed, there are a number of corresponding values that would satisfy this equation. So, what I could do is substitute values of x, values which I choose, into this equation, work all of this out, and I will get a corresponding y value. So, here's my table. I'm going to choose values of x, which are going to be fairly easy to start with. So, I will choose 2, 4, 6, and 8. I'm going to substitute each of these in turn into my above equation and work out my corresponding value of y. So I'm going to start with 2 going into my equation. 2 times 2, remember this is a multiplication, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 4 gives me a y value of 8. Now if we put the 4 into this equation, 2 times the 4, 2 4s are 8, plus 4 is 12. Now with the 6, 2 times 6 is 12, plus 4 is 16. Finally, the 8, 2 times the 8 is 16, plus 4 gives me 20. I now have all of my values. 2 and 8, 4 and 12, 6 and 16, 8 and 20. And all of these pairs fit this equation. But what can I do with them? Well, I can take these values and actually plot them on a pair of axes like this. Now, children often get confused as to which axis is which. Now, a good memory aid for this is, well, I ask them, what shape is x? And often they say, well, it's a cross. And indeed, the x-axis is across the page. It's just a silly way of remembering that that is the x-axis, so therefore, this must be the y-axis. So now I have my pairs of values. I have my axes. I can plot each of these in turn. 2 and 8, 4 and 12, 6 and 16 and 8 and 20. So my points therefore are here, here, here and here. And I can actually join these with a straight line. The equation itself actually gives us clues as to how this line should look. If we extend our line until it hits the y-axis, then the intercept point is at plus 4 which is where this comes from, the plus 4, which is, in fact, the c value on my y equals mx plus c equation. The equation y equals 2x plus 10 will actually be parallel to this equation, the original one, but the intercept point will be at plus 10, which is here. Likewise, with y equals 2x plus 3, it will be parallel to the original equation, but the intercept point will be at plus 3. What happens then if we keep our c value as in the original equation, but we change our m value? What happens then if we change our equation slightly to y equals 3x plus 4? Well, the plus 4 will mean that the intercept point is still at plus 4, but the increase in the m value will mean that the gradient is slightly steeper. The equation of y equals 4x plus 4 will be slightly steeper again. But again, the intercept point will still be at plus 4. I hope that helps.